Within a modern building, a modern product is manufactured after 150 years based on the heritage of Moritz Grossmann, who is one of the most important watchmakers in Glashütte's history. Moving through the Moritz Grossmann building, you are welcomed with art. A team of outstanding watchmakers is inspired by the great successes of the past, particularly the craftsmanship. Most of the parts have been and are still manufactured in-house, which certainly contributes greatly to the high quality of watchmaking produced here. Special attention is given to the balance wheel, the centerpiece of each watch. In this instance, the balance wheel is tested. It is discovered that there is an irregularity in the wheel which is caused by the pendulum. The correction is made manually. Only milligrams of material need to be eliminated. The new test shows the quiet turning of the balance wheel initiated by a puff of breath. There is no more wobbling between a forwards and a backwards movement. The wheel stops when the breath is gone. It is not only big gears that are well finished, but also the smallest elemental pieces have the right to shine. The heart of every watch is the balance wheel, which is responsible for the regular running of every watch movement. The size of the machined piece is visible in comparison to the finger of the artisan. Und 
gut. The holes for the attachment of the spiral to the balance wheel must be enlarged by hand. The spiral is clamped to the axis of the balance wheel with special forceps. A short press connects the spiral to the balance wheel. It must be cleaned even though you cannot see any dust. The testing continues. The balance wheel must be able to run freely in any position. Meanwhile, the assembly of the watch continues. The insertion of the balance wheel into the watch will show whether all previous work was correct. And it was. The clock is running perfectly. Everything is operating well. In order to carry out further tests, the balance wheel is once again placed on a stand.
other parts are also removed and tested. The anchor, a very important part, is tested using a separate measurement device. After reinstalling the anchor, its function is also tested. This is the anchor wieder in the Ohr And when we jetzt mal leicht aufziehen. Dann ist jetzt schon Kraft auf dem Räderwerk und der Anker kann jetzt hin und her kippen. Und ich simuliere jetzt im Prinzip mit meiner Pinzette den Unruhhebelstein, wie er an den Anker eingreift und den Anker hin und her schubst. Der Hebelstein. Only now is the watchmaker convinced that his work is running, not only for today, but also for future generations. Stop! We almost forgot them, the ones you look at most when you look at a watch. The hands. And that is what they have to do. And then that too. One would almost ask why all this suffering?
we get a new look at the hands of the watch. They burn in this copper skillet over the open flame and are then finally polished and polished again. At last, it is time. The hands are now placed in the dominating middle position of the watch face, where they lay for infinite admiration. These were the tools and instruments used during Moritz Grossmann's time 150 years ago. We are proud to show you our products of today's time.